Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and today I would like to introduce you to a web part that is actually a, a very nice web part to use for company uh, on company's uh, internet, and that is Countdown Timer Web Part. Uh, what is a Countdown Timer Web Part? Essentially, uh, it's a timer that allows you to um, you know, count the days and hours and minutes and even seconds uh, to a particular event. All right, you see an example, um, an example of countdown uh, timer web parts on the screen right now. Uh, essentially, um, uh, this is an example of uh, some medical benefit enrollment deadline. Uh, and the good thing is, users can obviously, um, you know, see the clock ticking. It's put, you know, it's puts, uh, I guess, an urgency on this matter, uh, and we can also, the users can also click, you know, to enroll, there is call to action available as part of this web part as well. Uh, let me show you how to configure it, it's pretty straightforward, uh, so I'm going to edit this page, I already have the uh, the web part uh, uh, available on my page, but I'm going to create another one, add another one, just like any other web part, it's available from this list of web parts over here, all right, so uh, here we go. Countdown uh, timer web part. Perfect. Uh, let's see what we have in terms of configuration. Now, it's very, very important to know that uh, you can also, you can count down, you can also count up. All right, so if I'm going to choose one of the, you know, previous dates, so I'm recording this video on November 3rd, 2019, so if I'm going to choose, you know, let's choose October 31st, all right, uh, you will notice that it counts up from that particular date. All right, but obviously, if I'm going to choose the date from the future, it's uh, it's going to be counted down towards that date. Um, so let's see. Um, you know, we don't want to miss uh, Christmas, so I'm going to um, put December 25th. That's the date I'm going to uh, count towards. Obviously, we can choose the date and time as well. Here we go. Uh, 4 p.m. We can display. You know, we have different displays. We can count the days. Uh, we can count uh, days, hours, minutes, as well as seconds. Leave it, let's leave it like that. Um, another important piece of um, countdown um, timer web part is call to action, right? Because it's one thing if you want to see uh, if you want to see your users the clock ticking, but you know, I'm sure you also want uh, your users to do something about it, right? Maybe they need to submit uh, some sort of form for HR. Um, maybe they just need to read a document uh, or, you know, um, join a particular type of, um, you know, site. Uh, whatever the action is, um, you might want to enable the call to action. Um, and all it is, it just adds a button uh, with a description. Uh, and um, you can uh, pretty much, this is where you specify the call to action uh, as well as the URL. All right. Uh, you can also uh, spice it up a little bit, just like I did in my case, right, with the background image by clicking this. Uh, let's not worry about, it, about this uh, for this particular um, video. So, um, and then, yeah, let's, uh, we can also uh, add the title, of course, at the top, telling what uh, this whole thing, telling our users what this whole thing is all about. And then, of course, uh, you know, don't forget to hit publish. Right to make the changes available, and here we go. Here is the little timer web part that we uh, countdown timer web part that we added to our page. Um, so the use cases for this web part would be, you know, pretty much anything where you want your users uh, to do something, right? <laughs> and you want to put some sort of urgency, um, you know, um, for them uh, to do so. Um, a good example, right, would be something related to HR, right? They need to complete some sort of form, um, enroll on something, fill out a document, uh, maybe view a video, um, um, you know, join a particular join a particular site, uh, team, um, you know, stuff like that. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. There is not much to this uh, particular web part. Uh, very, very easy uh, to, to use uh, and utilize. And, uh, and, you know, in my opinion, this is a great addition uh, to, the, to the family of uh, out-of-the-box web parts and SharePoint Online. And I think it's a great addition um, to, to, to the internet, um, you know, uh, to the internet pages um, that are built in SharePoint Online. All right. So hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, as always, so we'll be happy to uh, see you again on my YouTube channel as well as uh, my site, my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.